Daylight system, the control parameters and the daylight parameters rollout. So I've already created a daylight system here. And here I have my daylight and my sunlight glyphs, uh, the two of them here. And you can see I have them. So I'm going to pick on this thing. If I go over to my motion tab, if we just looked at the previous video here uh, in our sunlight, we've seen all how to control all these control parameters, how to control our date, time, and locations, uh, what time it is, time zone, what location, or latitude, longitude. That was just done in the previous video for the sunlight system. So uh, I'll go past that. I'm going to go over to Modify tab. In the Modify tab, I have my daylighting parameters. I can turn the sunlight to be inactive. I can turn it back on. I can turn the skylight to be inactive. And I can also go up to my intensity and color here, and I can set my multiplier uh, of the intensity here. I can set the color, how much attenuation it is, which we don't really use too much in the sun. But if I click on this button down here in the daylight parameters, and I, I go to the setup for the position, this setup takes me over to the motions tab, essentially, right back to where we were in the last video in the sunlight or just earlier. So either one, I have to get back, I have to go back to modify, then to modify this daylight condition, this daylight uh, particular light, 001. So I can control its position, I can control its colors and intensity, I can control the daylight parameters whether it's active or not active and so we can control that for both the sunlight and the skylight remember that when we are creating daylight systems we're using two different types of lights we're using a sunlight and a skylight